Tara and I'm Christy and this is our story. Um, Bobby has been teaching on um, sharing our story over the last few weeks. In um, March of 2013 I came through these doors for the first time. I was a widow with two little boys. Um, kind of out of place but knew this is where I was supposed to be. Um, and I was completely surrounded by people that that took me in under their wing. Um, my church that I had attended for years in Myrtle Beach, I'm still very close with those people that I did small group with. And they came together with my small group that I was attending here at the Ridge at Kevin Bradford's house. And they formed what they called Mission 127. And that stems from the scripture James 127, which is to take care of the orphans and the widows. That's exactly what they did. They did house repairs, they home molding, they replaced stairs in my home. And um, Marshall Brown was part of that team of people that came together and did exactly what the scripture says to do, and that's to take care of the orphans and the widows. And uh, it really spoke to me. And um, my friend Consuela from Myrtle Beach had, had spoken the words that one of these days, I feel like you're gonna have a ministry that will that will take care of the orphans and the widows. And, and she called it Mission 127, so. Um, I'm Christy. In uh, January of 2016, my husband passed away after battling cancer for about 10 months. Um, while he was sick, um, we needed help with some things around the house, um, the yard work mainly. I couldn't do it with having two small children at home. And, he obviously couldn't do it because he was sick, and so I put on a bridge raw an ad asking for someone to come and help us with the maintenance in the yard, and we would pay them. And so I get a message from Marshall Brown um, saying that he'll come and he'll help me out for cheap, and he came and he helped. He mowed the lawn, he trimmed bushes, he helped get everything up to par, and you know I told him, I said, I'm sorry, I'm not able to pay you as much as I thought I'd be able to, and he said, you know what, you don't have to pay me at all. When Jake was sick and Marshall was doing the things around their home, he had contacted me and asked me to be praying for this family, and he explained the situation, and um, that's what I did. And, and when you pray for somebody, whether you know them or not, you feel a connection with them. So when she came here, I already knew who she was. We had never talked, we had never had a conversation, but I felt like I knew her and he invited us to his church and we didn't go. Um, we got really busy with Jake and his appointments and him being sick and things got pretty hectic. And um, after Jake passed away, um, I went to Marshall and he helped me move houses. He helped me put furniture. He helped with my lawn and everything. He did everything, Mission 127 with the widows. He helped me and he didn't expect anything in return. Um, and eventually, this time last year, I went and took him up on this offer and went to the Ridge. And while I was here, I was sitting in the back row and I was completely lost. I was overwhelmed. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just looking for something to kind of grab onto. And uh, that's when Tara approached me with a note. She said, um, I, I was told to give you this. And she said, you, didn't, you don't have to open it right now, but you know, this is for you. And so, of course, I went into the bathroom and I opened it up and I read it and it said, um, three years ago, around this time, I was exactly where you are, with two little boys, completely lost, a widow, and I had nowhere to turn. And I completely fell apart and I knew this is where I needed to be. And I knew and I realized that God had planted those seeds while Jake was sick so that when he passed away, I had somewhere to turn to. And it just, it was in that moment that God just showed me everything from the time that Marshall answered the Facebook message and saying, I can come and just having that seed planted before Jake even passed away and just seeing now where I am today everything that has happened. And it's 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 just amazing. And it's, it's all because of that note that we, we've been able to build this discipleship with each other and build this bond. And 
now even be able to reach out to other people and other widows and be able to help them. I love that God not only makes us promises, He follows through with those promises, and then He'll show us how we got there. That's our story.